so welcome back so today we're going to be doing the main bus wire and uh, I thought I'd start right at the beginning so here I have got a terminal barrier let's just take a closer look at this okay so I've got each of the uh, wires labeled there as you can see now the DCS actually has two more for jump port A and jump port B but I won't be using them uh, the ground wire which will come apparent later on why I need that one and obviously program A for programming and then A and B so let's get started alright so I got the DCS uh, 51 here with the wires ready to go on the back and now I've drilled these holes here in the board because if you look underneath there are actually some ventilation grills and this could be on for hours and hours at a time so that's just a fail safe so it doesn't overheat so it's a simple matter of just just hooking these up and, and we're good to go so let's flip the board over and keep going alright so I flipped the table over now and I have taped off uh, two programming wires and the ground wire that's just to keep them out of the way for the moment and we'll be dealing with them later on so on this particular layout the red wire is going to be rail A and the black wire is going to be rail B so on this particular layout, there's going to be a total of 19 uh, blocks, so 19 detection sections on this small layout. So the BDL168 can only handle 16, and then the BD4 uh, can do 4, so that's, they worked out quite nicely. Okay, so the main bus line now runs all the way around as per the plan. So uh, let's take a closer look and how I'm going to finish this off. Okay, so the main bus line is in now. Now I need to get the rail A, which will be the red one. I'm going to solder another piece of wire heading off this way, and it's going to make its way to the BDL168 and the BD4. So for this particular layout, I'm actually going to be doing solder joints on, on everything. It's just a personal preference. Um, I feel that if you get a nice good solder joint, then you know you never have to worry about it again. So I've got the red wire coming through the table frame now, and I've split it here. And I'm going to have one going into the input of the BD4, and then it goes off this direction, and it's going to go to the number one position on the terminal barriers here. So here's a close-up of the BDL168, the way you wire it up, and there will be the rail A coming into position one. And because it's broken up into four different sections, I need to run rail A into the four sections. So uh, let's, let's keep going. Okay, so it's all wired up now and you can see it feeding into the four sections and it's ready to go. All I need to do now is run a series of wires from the BDL168 out to the terminal strips, which will be done on a later date. So that's pretty much the main bus wire now installed and I'm going to go ahead and start finish laying this track 